Rick Steen contestants will try to find the one player who holds a secret question worth up to $10,000. That's the player who will stand up and yell. Our first expert today is, uh, thank you, Judy Moore, a housewife from New York. Judy, how you doing? Just fine, thanks. Okay, love, we left you with $500 in the jackpot, 11 players left, $7,400 in the super jackpot. That isn't bad, and uh, let's see if you can get that money. Here okay, we go. Okay, I'll try with number four. Number four. Mary? For $105, would you believe that according to a Danish scientist, People can overcome the energy crisis by heating their homes with energy expended while making love? Yes or no? No. Well, the answer is, is yes. Uh, you can heat your home with the energy expended while making love. Then frigid would really be frigid, wouldn't it? <laughs> Go ahead, Mary. Okay, finally. <laughs> uh, number 11, please. Number 11. Uh, good luck. For $70. Six New York teenagers have set a world record by doing something non-stop for 44 days. Heating their home. Was it chewing bubblegum, playing Monopoly, or staying in Central Park? Playing Monopoly. Playing Monopoly, yes, it set a world record. Good, man. Number three, please. Number three. Michael. And you got to make a decision already. $675 in the jackpot for one or nine to go for $7,400. What do you do? Super jackpot. Good luck. Okay. Number 14, please. Number 14. Fill in the blank. When Benny Goodman is working, he holds his blank in his hand. His trumpet. <laughs> No, it's his clarinet. His clarinet, yes, too bad. Well, <laughs> Bill, here you are again, babe. Yeah. Hit the button. Set yourself a super jackpot for three and ten thousand dollars automatically, completely by chance. And then around it goes. Some members have a better chance. Eight thousand nine hundred dollars. That's nice. Uh, number eleven. Number eleven. For ninety-five dollars. Which of these three actresses, which of these actresses was not discovered in TV commercials? Was it Sybil Shepherd, Sandy Duncan, or Jane Fonda? The one of those that was not discovered in TV commercials. Could you repeat them again? Sure. Sybil Shepherd, Sandy Duncan, or Jane Fonda? Sandy Duncan. No, she was discovered. See, that's where she made a start. It was in commercials. Jane Fonda was not discovered in commercials. And uh, Diane is back. That's right. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Number, uh, number three. Number three. Michael. For fifty dollars. According to Wee Magazine, are British women better satisfied with their sex lives than other women in the world? Yes or no? Yes. No one. They are dissatisfied. Michael is up. Okay, number ten. Number ten. For eighty dollars. Would you believe your body produces more heat? when you sleep than during your waking hours. Yes or no? Yes. No, no. That's why you need blankets. A lot more when you're awake because you're moving around. Temperature drops when you sleep and Mike is up. Go ahead, Mike. Okay. Number eight. Number eight. Okay, Mike. For $75, true or false? When a dog chases its tail, it always turns counterclockwise. True. No, that's false. They go either way. <laughs> $300 in the jackpot, 11 players to go. Super uh, jackpot is $8,900. Number five. Number five. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hooray and boom. $300 as it stands, 11 to go for $8,900. How are you going to play it, bro? You can do it. Oh, you can do it. Super jackpot. Super jackpot. Good one. Be careful, Be careful, right. Number 12. Number 12. Okay. When a German complains to you about his Kopfschmerzen, 
Is he complaining about his high taxes, his job, or his headache? His headache. His headache. His cock smear. Cock his head. Yes. Good. Thirteen. Thirteen. For one hundred dollars, true or false? Dave Mann of England ate 130 prunes without pits in 105 seconds. <laughs> true. That is true. No! The next, the next question is, what did he do the rest of the day? <laughs> Number nine. Number nine. <laughs> Since you're always willing to accommodate a friend, spell the word accommodate. A C C O M M O D A T E. Right. Oh. Let it go, Paul. Eight to go for eight thousand nine hundred dollars. Let it happen. Number one. A lapidary is either a person who cuts and polishes stones, or one or a one hump camel. Which is it? A uh, lapidary is either a person who cuts and polishes stones, or a one humped camel. Which is it? Cuts and polishes stones. Right. You are. $8,900. We all know that Rhode Island is the smallest state in the Union, but which is the second smallest state? Rhode Island, the smallest state in the Union, which is the second smallest state? Connecticut? No, No, it's little Delaware, little tiny Delaware down there. We'll be right there. Would you look at this place? The last thing I need to think about is how and when a laxative is going to work. Phillips works and it doesn't interfere with your day. Right. It doesn't cramp your style. Things are rough all over. Does your laxative have to be rough too? Phillips formula works a special gentle way and usually without cramps. Yeah, you could say it, it doesn't cramp my style. Thank heaven for Phillips. Phillips milk of magnesia. Regular chocolate or mint. Phillips works and... It doesn't cramp your style. Some women's razors are really men's razors in sheep's clothing. Pretty colors can disguise the unprotected edge of the blade. One little slip can mean a nasty nick or cut. That's why you need Flicker. Flicker's five blades have a special skin shield wrapping to help protect against nicks and cuts. For months of close, smooth, safer shaves, get Flicker, the first disposable lady safety shaver designed to cut hair, not skin. It's fantastic! <laughs> We're back on Jackpot. Our floor manager gave us each a lifesaver. And yet we came back, I decided to keep mine. You put yours in your pocket, didn't you? <laughs> My sister's sweater. <laughs> Hit the button. Uh. Set a super Jackpot. Round and round it goes. Then three and ten thousand dollars. Some numbers have a better chance of coming up than others. You get, oh, just to nine, three thousand three hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, Judy. Here we go. Start with fourteen, please. Okay, for $140, was Richard Nixon's first running mate William Miller or Henry Cabot Lodge? Lodge. The Lodge is right. Number 10, please. Number 10. Michael. For $120, is a falsetto a small toupee? A style of singing or a woman's undergarment? A falsetto, a small toupee, a style of singing or a woman's undergarment? A style of singing. Yes, it is. Good. Number 11. Number 11. Bill, for $95, during a bear's five-month hibernation, does he have to get up every morning for a comfort call? No. No, he doesn't. And, uh... Number one. Number one. For two hundred dollars, who in the world owns Greenland? Is it the United States, England, or Denmark? Denmark. Denmark owns Greenland. That's right. Doing fine, Judy. Number five. Number five. Oh, it's toughy. For fifty dollars, which city got shook up in the film Earthquake? Was it Los Angeles or San Francisco? San Francisco. No, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Too bad. Karen comes down. Karen, you take over a jackpot of $605, 10 players left, super jackpot $3,300. Number 12. Number 12. For $125, if you were performing a gustatory act, would you be having dinner or bathing nude? Having dinner. Yes, that's right. Uh, number 13. 
Number 13. For $110, would you believe that Irish stew was originally a German dish? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, that's true. Number 15. Number 15. <clears throat> For $135, would you believe that it's possible to catch a 3,000-pound shark with a lasso? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, that's right. Stolen Oxford did that. Well, we're in by road. $975 in the jackpot. Number six. Number six. Uh, yeah. For $80, would you believe there is a recorded instance of somebody laughing himself to death? Yes or no? There better be. <laughs> yes. Well, good news for you. Bad news for Pietro or who did it. Okay, we'll be right back. Think you got a dirty oven? Try cooking for critters like these. Ray's partridge for Billy Clive. Tamale pie for Pancho. Ah, como esta wein? That's why I use Dow oven cleaner. I tried, I'm a hammer. And Mr. Muscle, too. But Dow overnight, I'll clean them both. Daytime or overnight, the dirtier your oven, the more you need Dow. Oh, no! Am I late for supper? The cat's a dirty kid. My family is very tough to please. We all like Smucker's jams and jellies, but we all like different flavors. Me, I like Smucker's grape jelly in the big jar, but I tell my sister that I don't like it. If she knew that I liked it, she'd eat it all up, and there wouldn't be any for me. <laughs> hey, who told my sister I like grape? With a name like Smucker's, it has to be good. Some of our contestants receive a quick low-calorie lunch that's creamy, delicious Seagull diet food. Go anywhere, eat anytime. Seagull the low-cost, low-calorie lunch. Plus, from the Bruce family of quality floor care products, Bruce, five-minute wax remover, a good way to remove acrylic and wax buildup. Back to you, Jeff Edwards. Okay, thank you, Don. Remember, players, it's the last uh, show of the week. We may not have time to finish the game, so I'll ask you to plan accordingly. $1,035 in the jackpot. Six players left, but in order to get the money, you got to find the jackpot question. Karen, who's got it? Number nine. Number nine. She thinks... Nope. For $85, true or false, keeping a dog on a chain or in close confinement will calm him down. Keeping a dog on a chain or in close confinement will calm him down, true or false? False. False. Yes, it makes him over the aggressive. Not bad at all. Number eight. Number eight. For $105, you'll have a feeling of ecstasy if you get this right. Spell ecstasy. E-C-S-T-A-S-Y. Yes, right you are. <laughs> Waiting to see if you heard a buzzer, right? Number seven. Number seven. For $105, Number seven. true or false, according to a prominent... So a sociologist. Sociologist. Hitler and Mussolini were, had more charisma than any other 20th century leaders. According to a prominent sociologist, true or false, Hitler and Mussolini had more charisma than any other 20th century leaders. True. That is true. Yes, indeed. Karen, you got to find a jackpot question quickly because if it turns out to be the last one in the game, there'll be no remaining questions, therefore no super jackpot. The front row's got it. Somebody there. Boyd, Diana, or Paul? Two, Number three, four. four. Number four. I'm sorry. Find out. For $115. In private life, she's Mrs. Blake Edwards. What is her professional name? Julie Andrews. Right! Number three. For ninety dollars. Oh, the Cartwright family spent years on the ranch known as Blank. Bonanza. No. no, that was the name of the show. The ranch was the Ponderosa. The Ponderosa was a ranch and you got stuck in the last moment, Karen. Honey, I guess you got the job. right now, $1,550 to you, uh, Diane and Boyd. Good luck. Okay, jackpot. And here is my question. In George Orwell's novel, 1984, what is the dictator called? Oh, my God. No, that's not it. Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 it's George Orwell's... Oh! Oh! Big Brother! Right, Karen! Yeah. Karen, you're the Jeff 
Yes, what? We're buying a dirt for sandwiches. But I'm making sandwiches. A sandwich is a sandwich. But a manwich is more like a meal. What's a manwich? Sloppy Joe's with Hunt's manwich sauce. Manwich is thick sauce with tomatoes, onions, peppers. Makes my ground beef more of a hot, hearty meal. Delicious. Well? You're right. A sandwich is a sandwich, but a manwich is a meal. There are so many balsam products, but this is the one that started it all. Wella Balsam. It's the original balsam. In just one minute, it makes your hair strong, shiny, and easy to comb. That's why everyone tried to copy it. Because it works. See, you can tell the difference. So can your hair. So get the original. Wella Balsam Instant Hair Conditioner and Wella Balsam Shampoo. You'll love your hair. We'll be back with more of Jackpot after this word of interest. Did you mirror your enemy? I know mine was. Dry skin made me look older. Then a friend shared her secret. Oil of Olay Beauty Lotion. Skin drinks in oil of Olay. Soothes away dryness that accents wrinkles. So those little lines are less noticeable. Smooth on morning and night. Never greasy. Marvelous under makeup. So you may look your youngest. Let your mirror be your friend. Share the secret of oil of Olay at your drugstore. Florentine Plus invited this professional stuntman to try his luck at an obstacle course. He did fine. His colored clothes didn't. Mm -hmm. Now, you wouldn't use chlorine bleach on that checked shirt, but you can use Boratine Plus, the bleach substitute. Tough enough to get out chocolate, egg, grimy dirt. Safe enough for all washable fabrics and colors. When you can't use chlorine bleach, you can't beat Boratine. Here we go, back in Jackpot Van and hit the button there. Set yourself a Super Jackpot between three and ten thousand dollars. Round it. Look for a big one this time. Whoa. Mm, three thousand eight hundred dollars. Well, it's a long journey, And we begin. Uh, start out with uh, number four. Number four. Okay. Okay, four. For a hundred and ten dollars. In the movie Funny Girl, Fanny Bryce's first husband was played by Omar Sharif. In the movie Funny Lady, who plays Fanny Bryce's second husband? Uh, James Conn. Right you are. Good job. Uh, number, uh, 11. Number 11. Bill. For $150, fill in the blank. In The Wizard of Oz, the straw man asks the wizard for a blank. A brain. A brain. Right you are. Number three. Number three. Okay, for $140, would you believe that five states have made it legal for a woman to keep her maiden name after her wedding, yes or no? Yes. Yes, they have. Missouri, Indiana, Florida, New York, and New Jersey. Go find that. Uh, let's see. Uh, try number eight. Great. For $100, who recently made this statement in National Bulletin Magazine? I'm America's most misunderstood actor. Was it James Stewart or Tony Randall? Uh, James Stewart. No, it's Tony Randall. Tony Randall's the guy that said it. That gives Mike another chance here. $500 in the jackpot. 11 players left. Okay, number seven. Number seven. Jackpot! Okay, Mike, where are we are? $500 in the jackpot, $3,800 in the super jackpot. If you decide to go for the super jackpot and we run out of time, we'll let you go back and answer the jackpot question for that $500. So what do you want to do? I think we'll for the jackpot. Going for the jackpot. Okay. Good luck. Okay. You're on a sightseeing bus that takes you to the Wrigley Building and the John Hancock Center. What city are you in? Chicago. Right you are for $500. I was an advertising agency that works on parquet margarine. And when they asked me to write about squeeze parquet, I was a bit skeptical. I knew it would be good on hot foods, but what about cooking? So I tried it. And you know, it really is a lot quicker and easier. In fact, 
squeeze parquet margarine is almost everything, easier than any other margarine. And the flavor? Well, the flavor says parquet. Anyway, now I use squeeze parquet all the time. I love it so much that Kraft asked me to do this commercial. Be the kind of cook you want to be. Kraft marshmallows can help. Start by launching up a Nana Boat dessert made with Kraft marshmallows. They're jet puffed to stay soft and blend smoothly. The recipe's on the bag. It's a great way to launch a banana boat dessert. Made the good craft way. Your family will love it. Some of our contestants will receive a generous supply of delicious craft candies, a great variety to please your family. Caramel, fudgies, toffee, peanut brittle, and butter mints from craft. Back to you, Jeff Edwards. Okay, Don Pardo, thank you very much. As some of you may or may not know, uh, this is our last show. Uh, we'll be going off the air at the end of this show. Uh, aw. Yeah. Uh, this show will be, uh, the, the show takes our place. It's going to be hosted by a very good friend of mine, a guy named Dick Enberg. I know you'd be kind uh, to him as you have been to me and the staff here. I'm not the kind of a guy who... Uh, who saves things? I didn't get a college yearbook because I didn't care about yesterday, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm taking that right there, and I'm putting that in my house. Because this, this will remind me of the greatest bunch of people that I have ever worked with and, and will ever work with, I'm sure, in my life. And I would ask you at home to please watch all the names at the end of this show because they're the people who have made this show work and uh, they're just the most professional people in the world. So with that, I say thank you very much for all of us here at Jackpot. <laughs> now, we get on to more happier things, and we talk about the money that was won here in the last week with a great group of contestants. Number 12, Lisa, stand up, my love. $1,500. Congratulations to you. Number 6, Herb. $3,200. Chris, Number 13, Chris. $3,200 for you, Chris. Number seven, Cindy. $3,950, Cindy. And number eight, Diana. Stand up if you can. $4,475 for Diana. This is Jeff Edwards saying thank you very much. We'll see you again. Stay tuned. about his $38 million television flop, about Frank Sinatra, and about himself. On our special 90-minute version of tomorrow, tomorrow night at 11.50, 10.50 Central Time, here on NBC.